Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy, DJ City Manos. And um, I grabbed all my lights, hooked them up. And the reason why I grab all my lights, I grab like one light from each to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to be working. That's why, that's why, reason why I do it. Like I got the, the wedge, the best part 50s, the best part 60s, the strips, and the rechargeable 50s. I grab them all out. And I always want to, anytime I make a change, I grab them all out to hook them up and make sure that they're working. Because sometimes I don't take the strips and sometimes I won't take these, but I, you know, I still want to make sure that everything is good. It's working. So right now everything is all good. And there's a few changes I made and I'm going to show you. I'm going to just show you the changes I made. And I might answer a few questions. Like somebody asked me, how do I make these up lighting in these different color? Like this is uh, the wash is blue, but I got a green background. So I'm going to explain a few of these things right here. So check this out. Here's the software, my DMX Go, the software. Everything here is being controlled by the software, like the colors. The top one, it is the, right now, it is the up lighting, it's green. And the bottom one is the moving head. I don't want to get everybody confused because it does different things. And I'm going to show you the different things it does. Like right now, the top one is the up lighting and the bottom one is the moving head. So I got them both in green. So up lighting, all this up lighting, it is green. Everything's green. And the moving head is green. So you, you ask, why, hey, DJ said, Manos, if that's green, why are these not green? So I got the best part 60s and the strips on the same channel or the same address, the same address. I don't want to get people confused. And the address, I think, is 005. So if you go to fixtures, the address is 005. So I got those on 005. That's why, so now let me show you something. Anytime I go to my fixtures, and you see that little blue dot, that means I have control of it. Oops. Let's click on that one again. So I have control of it. And what I mean by I have control of it, the software is not controlling it no more. So if I change the color, I have to change it here. So I'm gonna change it a different color. So I'm gonna take the blue off, and now my wash is gonna be a different color. Check out my wash. What color do you guys wanna make my wash? Let's make it red. So now my wash is red. Red and green. Here goes my wash right here. This will be on the dance floor. And that will be on the dance floor. So that will be green or red. And if I save it, it's always going to be like that. You know. So let's, let's, uh, let's remove this. And I'm going to turn it off. And it's going to go to green. Because now the software is going to take control. I'm going to release control. Now it's going to, it's going to go to green. Because that's what the software has green. I'm releasing all of these. I had control of all of these, right? Now, what color is it? It's green. Because now the software is controlling it. If you come over here, if you come over here, it's green. The software is controlling it. This palette is green. Now, if I change it a different color, it goes to the, the, what the software changed, uh, controlling. If I change this a different color, like uh, blue, no, 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 let's go to pink. Now everything should be pink. This, that's pink. And we got the moving head green. But if I want to change the moving head green or pink, I'll take control again. Oops. And he goes, this ring right here is the moving head. I change it to pink and release this one. So now everything should be pink, including the moving head. So that's just a little example. That's a, a, an example. I didn't save it, so I went back. And I didn't save it, that's why I just went back the way it was. But if I want to save it, then I hold it and save it. So, somebody asked me that. So, they asked me, how do you make the uplighting a different color? Here goes another one I made. Um, I got the... I got the... The, um, the wash, pink. So, it's a pinkish color. Well, actually, no, no, no. The wash changing colors. My bad. This this rotate into three colors. Um. So they go into three colors. 
they're changing uh look at the colors right here the watch is pink like a purplish pink red and cyan so they're gonna go through pink red and cyan and keep rotating those three colors so in the moving head i have it in green all right like if you click on this right here the moving head is green the wash is those three colors but my up lighting is green i matched the, the up lighting with the with the moving head and i had to take control of that the software not controlling that so i come over here go to fixtures and all these lights the wedge the best part 50 the best part 50s is right next to the wedge and then the rechargeable 50s i'm gonna call it rechargeable the rockville rechargeable 50s is that one i made those green so if you notice i took control of them if that little dot means i took control of it and i made it green i control all the, i took control of all the colors see if you notice i didn't take control of the dimmer the dimmer uh, the software still using the dimmer the software still using the strobe and the software using the function I didn't take control of that. I just took control of the colors. And I turned every single color off. By off, I mean off. It's at zero value. And I turned the green all the way up to the 250, 255 value. That means it's all the way up. I could dim this one down to make a soft green. See, if we look at the green, I can make it softer. I can make it bright. So this is my love lighting. I made them super bright. You know, so when I'm done with this, I'll save it. I come over here and go back to my live. I click on that and save it. Okay, here goes another one. Let me show you. Remember I told you the top one is the, the wash and the bottom one is the moving head. What happened if I, I don't have a, a color for the moving head? What color is it going to go to? And I did that and it, and it surprised me. It kind of surprised me. Check this out. Watch, I'm going to show you what it did. I believe it's this one right here. So I don't have anything selected in the moving head. The bottom one is the moving head. Since I don't have a color, uh, uh, I don't have anything selected for the moving head. Guess what color the moving head is doing? It's doing all those on the top. All these is, is changing from red, cyan, green, purple, whatever, yellow. So the moving head is actually changing all those colors. That's pretty slick, see that? Changing all those colors. Because I don't have a color selected, it's doing all the other colors. And I like that. I said, ooh, I, I, I kind of did that by accident. I said, oh, I like that. <laughs> you know, I think it was another one, watch. Um, this one, I did another one. I didn't select the color for the moving head. So it's picking all those colors. And you ask me, how do you make these red? Because earlier I was telling you that uh, that was the, I told you earlier that was the, the wash, but now you ask, you, you want to know how did I make these red? I took control of it. The software not controlling it. The only thing that software is controlling is the moving heads, all these colors for the moving heads. And over here I went to fixtures and I took control of my lights, all these lights. With the dot, the best part 60 is those. Um, the wedges, which is that one, the best part 50s, and the rechargeable 50s. And I made them all like a, a, a gloomy red. And I just lowered the, the colors down. If you see it, I made them like a gloomy, I dimmed them, I made them into a, like a red. You know, made them like a red and dimmed them. See those red? I just dimmed them. I try to make them all like almost close enough to the same color. So if you look at them, they're like a little bit, except that one. I can't do this one. Let me see if I could try to do it. I can't do that one. It's kind of... <sighs> these right here, the reason I can't ever get these because they only have the other colors. They only have uh, RGB. I wish it would have had like white in there at least, white. And I could try to, you know, make it a, another color. But anyways, it still looks good. If you look at it, it still looks good. So now if you look at the moving head, it's changing different colors. See that? 
They go through the different cycles of colors. All right. So let's go to another one. Let me see. Let's go back to a live. Here, it's almost the same thing. Um, I don't have anything for the moving head. The moving head is in the bottom. Since I don't have anything on the moving head, the moving head is changing all these colors from the top. It's rotating colors. You know, I wonder if, if, if I select this gobo. I wonder if it allow me to select multiple gobos. And it could rotate. Let's try that. Right now I have gobo number four. I wonder if I have, if I push both of them at the same time. Oh, it doesn't. I was hoping I could select multiple gobos. So they could rotate, but they don't. But anyways, let's go back. Um, so this right here says I don't have a color for the moving heads. It's picking all these colors right here in the top. And then over here, I took control of the lights again. I made them a, like a purplish color. You know, the, the software's not controlling the, the, all these lights. I'm controlling them. Um, over here, same thing. Um, he goes, he goes another one right here. It's going to be true. I don't want to get people confused. So over here, the top one is the wash and the bottom one is the moving head. And I made the wash red. So this is red and that's red. Right? So why... Why is this one blue? <laughs> Why is this one blue? And I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you on this example. All these are red, but I'm gonna make these blue. I'm gonna make that one blue. The two, the one at the the end blue or or cyan. And to do that, I got to take control of the lights. Right now, the reason why they're all red because the software is controlling red. The soft, this software is red, and the moving head is cyan. The software is controlling it, but I want control of it. I'm gonna make that um, cyan, and to make it, I want I want to take control. I'm gonna grab it and see right now. There's no little highlighted dot. Now I have control of it, and I'm gonna make this. Right now, is that red? Software was controlling it. I'm gonna take control of it. I'm gonna make it cyan. I'm gonna get rid of that red and bring blue up. And blue and green make cyan. So now I'm looking at it. So, and there it is. Let's make it brighter. So now we got cyan. Then we got cyan over here. And these are cyan moving heads and cyan wash. So, in case you was wondering how I, I did that. Um, and that's why I bring the lights out. Because I want to see what they look like when I move them around. So, um, let's go back. Um, let's go to another one. Here goes the last one right here. This one right here. Um, let's put a song on. Let's put a move with the music. Now, this one right here, they, they got a, a, a change in colors. And I made the this UV. And the software is controlling this. Software's controlling this. So if you look at them, they're just moving with the beat. And the UVs right here and UVs right there because they're using the same address. They're using 005. <laughs> Hope I don't get you guys confused. But anyways, these other ones are moving with the, the like a small fade moving with the beat, the uplighting. The reason why I put these here is because, um, I don't know, but I'm going to start trying to use these as a, as a wash. Since they're long and skinny, I order some clamps. Um, they should be here soon. Since this is long, I'm gonna put it right here on my speaker. I'm gonna clamp it and make it long like this, aim it to the dance floor. So I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna start taking these, make them, put them to work. Or I have uh, the speaker stands that I don't use no more because uh, I don't take my EVs. 
So plan B is mount those on the speaker stands and put them somewhere in the corner, like the opposite from me. You know, because uh, I always do a lot of backyard gigs. And sometimes I'm like right here. I'm right here facing. It was a dance floor. But I might put them on the other end. The speaker stand facing me. Hitting me with the, 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 the you know. So the speaker stand go up to maybe like eight feet. Probably like about this high. The speaker stands. It might go up this high. So I order the clamps. And, and, and of course the top of the speaker stand is thinner. So the ones that I have, the, the clamps didn't work. It just slides. So I went and got some tighter ones. I think there's, this one's a little smaller, the hole. So I order them. So hopefully they come soon. I just saw my uh, Amazon, and it said they're on the way. It's on, it's, on, it's, it's on its way. So I got the speaker stand doing nothing. So I'm going to put the speaker stands to work. Um, so I might put them in the corner somewhere away from me. And they're long and skinny, so I'm just going to just put them there, aiming the opposite, you know. So I want the whole backyard lit. And that's what I'm going to start telling my clients. I'm going to say, if you don't have, a, like, a uh, a light, because you know how in your backyard you only have light certain. And I see people, I always see people taking out lamps and taking out stuff to light up the yard. So now I'll go actually tell them, hey, don't worry about it. Let me take care of the lighting. Um... I'm going to put the Best Part 50 to work. I, if they want to make them white, I can make them white. And that's what I like about the Best Part 50. Not the Best Part 50. The strips. These right here. The strips. One thing I like about these strips is in the bottom of them, it has a button. Let me show you. See, I'm going to, I'm going to mount it on. on the, I'm going to mount them on the spe speaker pole like this, up and down. On a speaker pole. And um, here's one thing I like about these. Let me show you. This is so sweet. <clears throat> I'm up there choking on my saliva when I picked up the speaker. This is so sweet right here. That's what I like about it. If I turn this off, they're not going to connect to the my uh, DMX Go no more. So I could just turn that off, and now my DMX Go doesn't have no control of it. So now I could get a remote control and change the colors of these bad boys. So what I could tell my client, I'm, they're, they're in the backyard, and their backyard is all dark. I'm going to say, you know what? Um, don't worry about the lighting. I have some rechargeable ones. I could light up the backyard. I could make these white and light up a corner where it's really dark. Since I got two of these, I could light them up. And most of the times what I use these for, I tell them if they're going to take pictures. Um, I could also use these to um, light up the background of the picture area. So I could, I could sell these lights a little bit more. I could sell them. Not sell them, sell them, but I could sell them as a, like a, you know, tell my clients, oh, don't worry about it. If you need lighting, I got the lighting. I got the hookup. I hook you guys up. Um, and I just have to take my, um, my speaker stands and take this. And just put it in a corner somewhere and light it up, make it white, white. Or I can make it move with the music, you know. So, yeah, I noticed a couple yards, yards, the backyard is a little dark. And I could just, you know, take care of it. So I, this, as soon as I turn it on, it's going to be UV. See, got the antenna, making connection, boom, UV. We're good. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to put these bad boys to work. The, the strips. Since I, I bought them from my facade. And. Oops. I'm trying to do things with one hand. Yeah, I bought these from my facade. And so I, I don't use the facade. Because sometimes it doesn't fit in my car. And sometimes I do a lot of yard gigs. And it's just a hassle. You know, I might just sell the facade. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start selling these a little bit more, the lights. And I just got to take my speaker pole, and I just mount it on it. So I just ordered the new clamps. So when the clamps come, I'm going to see if they work. And they work, I'm, I'm, good, I'm golden. Um, oh, so here goes, here goes something else. Let's go back to the, the, the class. So the background, the top, the top row... It is changing different colors. 
if you notice, the, there's, uh, the moving head doesn't have anything. So the moving head should be changing all these colors. So if you look at the moving head, where is it at? It's changing different colors, right? Now, if you look at this one, I don't have control of those lights. The software's controlling it, so they're changing different colors of software. But uh, this one I have control, and I made them UV. I took control of it. So if, I, if you come over here, the best part 60s is going to be a little dot. And I made that one UV. If I click on it, I just made it UV. I have control of it. You know? Now here goes something else. The moving heads. I took control of it. And here goes the software is controlling all this. See, if you notice, I ain't take control of it. The software is moving all this, the pan, the tilt, everything. And the only thing I control, I took control was this as this automatic mode. I clicked on it. Now, could you see the way it has like a little cyan color? I'm taking control of it. And I moved it to the, I moved it. And guess what it's doing now? Something pretty cool. They're changing the gobos, different colors, they're strobing. See right now they got that little zebra gobo. Now I changed the color. Now I changed the little star gobo. Watch it's gonna change a different gobo. And now I got the little dot gobo. So I like that. It changes different gobos and it changes different colors. I said, cool. So I made two of them like that. I made this one. That has the, the up lighting moving, you know, and then the next one, it's almost similar to that, but I made the, the up lighting change a different, like a fade. So if you look at the, the background, they're moving with the beat, they're changing colors, but now if I click on the next scene, now it's a fade. And they're changing the colors to different color fade. And the, this, this is UV still. And this one I hear the gobos are changing and the colors are changing. That is sweet. That's what I'm saying. You got to play with your lights and see what's going on, you know. See, they're changing a fade. And this is going to be UV. So that's my plan. My plan is to put these to work a little bit more. I'm going to put them to work. Um, people are loving the light show when I do backyards because I'm making their, their backyard into a, a club scene. And um, now that I, I, once I get the, the clamps... I'm going to get my speaker poles that I don't even use no more because I have, these don't even need a speaker pole. These bad boys. So I could put them in the far away in the backyard in the corner where it's really dark. And I could either make them white or I could make them move with the music. And that's what I like about the bottom. It has that little switch. I could just turn it off and uh, my DMX won't control it no more. And I could just get the remote and put it whatever color they want. If they want to make them white because it's dark in that corner. I could say, you know what, let me handle the lights, I'll take care of it. I got you, I got you. And then I could just start selling my little light package for a little bit more, you know. And that's the thing, is, is um, what I start doing is I'm starting to sell my package. Um, like I separate the lights and DJ by itself because um, sometimes, I'm going to give you a, a little quick scenario. Sometimes, I live in Arizona, sometimes they call me up and they tell me, we're going to do a little pool party. And I said, do you need lights? No, it's going to be during the day. Okay. You know, but now I could actually say, this is what I charge. But if you want the lights, look at that. They even do it in half. See that? Doing the colors in half. That's pretty cool. That's pretty slick. It's going through the whole colors. See? And now I could actually, it's changing gobos and colors. Look at that. I like that one. The only thing I don't like about this one, they just go too much over here. You know, I want them to say it in front of me. So now what I could do is um, um, I increase my price. And if they don't want the lights, then I just reduce it. But if they want the lights, I just increase it. I say, all right, well, the lights are going to be a, another 200 bucks, you know, whatever, for the light show. And, um, yeah, some people are like, yeah, bring it on, DJ City Models. Bring the light show. <laughs> so there's a few of these I got to make put to work, like this ones. And I got to put these to work, the, the rechargeable 50s. I haven't used them yet. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing a little some sum, And, um, you know, some people don't like these lights. They're like, why you like these lights so much? Man, these, they're so diverse, man. These lights are so diverse. I've seen that the ape lights, the ape lights have like a magnetic for the pole. 
It has it like that, but, you know. <sighs> oh, well, I have to put these to work. I'm just going to get the clamp. They're pretty heavy, too. I'm just going to clamp them on the speaker pole and raise them up the highest it goes, you know, and just put them in the corner. The only problem, I won't be able to adjust them down. Once you get on the pole, it's going to be a long strip. You can't adjust them down. But I do have um, the other Best Part 60s, and those I could adjust them up and down. So I either I could put um, both of those on the pole in the corner somewhere. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I can't wait for um, this gig coming up this weekend. It's going to be a casino theme. And the casino theme is going to be, uh, I'm sure there's not going to be no dancing, but with the lights, man, I'm going to have a fun by myself with the lights. It's going to be a light show with DJ City Manos. So I am out. I'm going to maybe use my fog. The fog is going to be looking kind of cool with the, um, the moving head. And that's what I like about the moving head. It's doing its own thing, changing different, um, but I still have control of it. See, there's two lights blinking on the top. I have total control of them, and they're moving together. You know, it's not like one is moving over there and one moving over there. It's pretty cool. You know, I still have control of them. Oh, my software has control of it. So this is your boy DJ City Manos, and I am. This video is long. I am out. Peace.